Jeff, you get those papers on my desk by Monday. You're fired. <laughs> you just walk around with your mic like everywhere. I mean, I want people to hear me. Good point. Yeah, forget yeah. about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. What's going on? What's up? Dude, honestly, I'm kind of struggling lately. I'm just. I, I really don't care. Have I ever told you that I have the ability to see people's future? No, you haven't told me. And to be quite frank, I'm a little skeptical. Yeah, that's true. All I need is your palm. My palm. Uh, palm on your left hand. You ready? Uh, I don't know. Will anyone fancy more milk? Princess, Mr. Whiskers, fluffy butter? No? Okay, I'll go fetch the kibbles then. What'd you see? Tell you one thing. You're gonna want to play your cats right. Howdy people! Welcome on back to another episode of what is it called, Brian? Moot Points with Brian and Dylan. <laughs> what is it called again, Brian? Moot Points with Dylan and Brian. Much better. Welcome back again, guys. Happy to have you. We have a great episode in store for the new year. Welcome to 2019. Without further ado, I hope your cheek's doing okay. Let's jump into it. Guys, 2019 is here, like I said, so that means people are ready to make wild predictions for the year. I have a lot of predictions that I'm going to lay on the line later in this episode about the gaming industry, but I want to hear from you what you have to say for your predictions about 2019. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you want to hear from me. So, You're welcome. Looking at 2019, I think a good place to start would be uh, the most anticipated game from the Moot Game Awards, which mm -hmm. just wrapped up. Uh, one of the big ones on there that caught my eye, the thing that I voted for personally, was Cyberpunk 2077. I think this game is definitely one to watch out for in 2019. It's coming from CD Projekt Red, which is a super high quality studio. Mm -hmm. They totally innovated with The Witcher 3 and presumably the earlier Witchers as well. So I have super high hopes for Cyberpunk 2077. Me it's, too. It's from a great studio, like I just said. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome premise, this uh, dystopian future set in, I think, like well, the year 2077, <laughs> yep. in uh, Night City is the name of the location. And we saw that 45-minute full trailer from E3. It was, it was awesome. fantastic. It was awesome for them to release that. We saw a bunch of innovative uh, mechanics. Yeah. And just overall, it looks like the game is coming along nicely. I hope that they don't mess it up. Um, so that's what I'm really looking forward to in 2077. Um, what about you? You got something for me? Yeah, you know, I have a lot of predictions here. Uh, not necessarily what I'm hoping for, but these are things that I think are gonna happen in the year of 2019. The first one being, Fallout 76 is somehow gonna make some major changes and make their game fun, and it's gonna become one of the more popular games in 2019. Not the most popular, but one of the more popular. Similar to what uh, Rainbow Six did in 2018. Or uh, No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's also, exactly. That's it's also a good, one. A good yeah. example of that too. I think they're gonna somehow make a big comeback. Uh, my second prediction is Microsoft and Sony will not announce their future systems in the year and they won't release them in 2019, no way. But what I do think will happen is Nintendo Switch will announce the Nintendo Switch 2.0. Wow, that's a big prediction. I don't know if it's called Nintendo Switch 2.0, I don't know what, but it's coming, so prepare yourselves. The next one that I have is Red Dead Redemption 2 will come out in the first half of 2019 on which platform? The PC. The PC? Just for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. man. And not only will it come out in the first half, when they release it in the first half, it's going to be seamlessly integrated for cross-platform amongst all three major systems. For on That'd be amazing. Wouldn't it be amazing? That'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah so speaking of things that we hope to happen, because I definitely hope... Predictions. Predictions. These were predictions. Those and I actually had one more. Oh, I had one more. Okay, I'll Last pretend to listen. List. You might like this one, actually, too. Either Fortnite and or Overwatch will release a full length feature film or a TV show in the year 2019. I think that'd be great. I could see Fortnite doing it. I would love to see Overwatch do it. Every one of their animated shorts from Overwatch has been absolutely amazing. Um, that would be super exciting. I think it would do right? well. I think yeah. it would do a lot better than previous video game movies we've seen. Like mm. the World of Warcraft movie kind of struggled. It's kind of a flop. Yeah, it was in this weird limbo place where mm. if you 
liked the game, then the movie wasn't like nerdy enough and didn't go into it enough. And if you didn't know the game, then the movie made no sense. Right. So hopefully Overwatch or Fortnite would be able to overcome something like that right. and put out a good movie. Right. Uh, and that'd be cool. So, yep. I mean, that's kind of it for our predictions. Now we kind of want to jump into what we hoped to see or hope I should say. Yeah, I'll start. Thank you. Yeah, go. Uh, thank you for offering. Go for it. Uh, I hope to see some of the better games of 2019 released on all platforms, not just uh, as a selfish PC player, but just as a magnanimous, I don't know if that's the right word. I just want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to be able to play the best games. It just sucked to see these amazing games. It was so cool to see these great games, but it sucked to not be able to play them oh, yeah. without, you know, having my arm twisted and being forced to buy a PlayStation 4. Right. So I hope that the best games of 2019 are available to all people who want to play them. Yeah, and I think that's a good hope. I think a lot of people would, uh, you know, agree to that sentiment, but I didn't have to deal with that in 2018. Won't have to deal with it again in 2019. So that's good. But as far as what I'm hoping for is another thing revolving around Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm hoping that Rockstar just buckles up and they focus on this game solely and they continue updating the online gameplay because it's such a good like structure that they have a foundation and well, no. the extras and he, he doesn't know <laughs> the extras are not there yet but they will come and i know rockstar won't let me down but i'm really hoping they don't like pick up a side project for now and like something like gta 6 i don't want them to cut their team in half and start working on that i want them to strictly focus just for 2019 on Red Dead Redemption 2 because it has so much potential. Yeah, I, I agree. It's been awesome to watch people play Red Dead Online on Twitch a little bit, but so far it feels like it's been a little bit lacking, which yeah. is fine because that's fine as long as they keep more content coming. Yeah, exactly. We've seen that with like Sea of Thieves. It was very disappointing upon launch, but they've continually released new content yep. all for free to their players and people are seem to be happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Summit 1G really made a comeback because he you know, piggybacked on that game. So yeah. that's cool. That's our hopes for 2019. We have one more thing to talk about right now, and that is what is a good story to follow in the year of 2019? And Brian has something to talk about. Yeah, I feel like the story to follow in 2019 is this, the story that was the entirety of 2018, which is Fortnite. Mm -hmm. So if we look at this time last year, PUBG was the behemoth. Yep. PUBG was the game to beat, seemed like nothing could top it. It was mm -hmm. setting records on Steam. World, worldwide, everyone was talking about it, yeah. everyone was playing it. Um, and so, we, Fortnite was just this little guy around this time last year. Yeah. And over the course of a year, Fortnite has exploded and PUBG has disappeared completely. I'm, yeah. I don't think that people are playing that in game anymore. In the US, anymore. in China, it's still fairly large. Yeah, the yeah. PUBG Mobile, to be fair, is pretty lit. So. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Yeah. Good um, game. So, the, the big question, the big story to follow is how can Fortnite just not mess up? And I think that they have, they're doing a lot of things better and differently from mm -hmm. PUBG Corp, but it, you know, we felt like PUBG couldn't possibly fall off and then they did and now we Got all feel knocked dumb. Knocked out of the ballpark. Looking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in a bad way. Yeah, in a bad yeah. way, never to come back. Yeah, so. I didn't say it was a home run, it was an out. Yeah. It was out of bounds, out, out, out of play. Yeah. So uh, I'm just a little bit worried. Uh, is there anything you think that Fortnite could do or should not do to make sure they stay relevant? Stay you know, on it's top? tough and it, it's kind of a double-edged sword for me. Um, the thing that they should do and the thing that they shouldn't do are kind of one and the same. The thing that they've been doing right now is, you know, they've been coming out with these weekly updates, making things new, fresh, 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 like fresh content all the time. And if you miss a week of playing Fortnite, like you're outdated, you know? Yeah. And I think that's also what's going to kind of drive people away. Like right when you get into things, you're like, all right, like this is my favorite gun. This is my favorite place to drop. It changes. And I think mm. that may have a negative effect after they continue to do it over and over and over again. I could be very, very wrong here because gamers really do like fresh content, but I don't know. Like I like consistency in my games. And if, if Red Dead Redemption, like, you know, transform the maps and like guns went decreasing in damage, you or know, taken like, out of the game. Yeah, you took out like certain horses, you vaulted them. I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of pissed. So, you know, that's the only way I could see them really coming down. But realistically, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to stay on top. Um, that's what we like said about said, PUBG. I was just going to say, like you said, that's what we said about PUBG. Um, but yeah, I mean, 2019 for the gaming industry is going to be hot. Yeah, I mean, 2018 was fantastic, and yep. 2019 is one higher of a number. So naturally, they'll 
crank it one higher. Just turn it up one notch. <laughs> yeah, turn it up to 19. Yeah, 20 turn it up to 19. Guys, that's all we have for the, our predictions, our hopes, and the stories to follow for 2019. Let us know what you guys are hoping for, what you have predictions for, and what you're going to follow. Tell us down below in the comments. On to the next. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in 2019, and it is time for the first Moot Food Review of the year. And this week, we have some white fudge chunky chips ahoy cookies. Brian, if you do the honors and, all right, just hold it. <laughs> there we go. Here. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today, guys, we're going to review these cookies. And while we're tasting them, we're going to show you the meme of the week from Long Strange Trip. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> That's a fact. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mm. doing okay? No. Pretty tasty <laughs> cookie. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit squishier. It's pretty crunchy, but you know, it's got a good stand. It's got pretty much good everything. I'm gonna give it an eight point one. With milk, I'm sure this would be fantastic. Mm. Oh yeah. Or with uh someone not shoving it into your face against your will. That sucks. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. Who would do that? So, under present circumstances, I'm going to have to give it just a 7.2. But I think with milk, it would go up a full point. Absolutely. I think it's a fair score. Milk would definitely improve it. 8.1, 7.2. There you have it, guys. Go get yours today. Ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for today. But before we go, we have the question of the week. And my guy, BryGuy.com, is going to hit you with it question of the week so dylan predicted that we would not hear either of these announcements anytime this year let alone see the consoles before 2020 but i want to ask you which console do you think will be announced first microsoft's new xbox or the playstation 5 let us know in the comments or on moot or wherever we just want to hear from you please just want to hear from you all right thanks for joining see you next week guys have a good night Better get your spectacles. <laughs>